Science Grade 10 Unit 1, Earth and Space Week 3, Plate Tectonics Hi, dear students! Today is another beautiful day and another day to learn a new lesson. Once again, I am Teacher May and I will be your teacher today. Module 1, Distribution of Active Volcanoes, Earthquake Epicenters, and Major Mountain Belts Most Essential Learning Competency Describe and relate the distribution of active volcanoes, earthquake epicenters, and major mountain belts to plate tectonic theory. This lesson is based on the Science 10 Regional Self-Learning Module. Activity number 10. Mark the boundaries. Our objective for this activity is to describe the distribution of major mountain belts. We need the following materials. Map of mountain ranges of the world, Two pieces plastic sheets used in activity number 7 and color red marking pen. Study the map showing the mountain ranges of the world. Since the map of mountain ranges in the world in figure 8 is presented this way, the teacher will provide a new copy of the map of mountain ranges in the world in such a way that it shows the Pacific Ring of Fire to provide ease in tracing later. Place the plastic sheet over the map. Trace the approximate location of major mountain belts using a red marking pen on the plastic sheet. Place the earthquake plastic sheet over the volcano plastic sheet. Then place the mountain ranges plastic sheet over the two plastic sheets. Question. How will you relate the distribution of major mountain belts to the distribution of earthquake epicenters and active volcanoes. Again, how will you relate the distribution of major mountain belts to the distribution of earthquake epicenters and active volcanoes? Mountain ranges are found in places where volcanoes and earthquake epicenters are also located. Please write your answer on the learning activity sheet. What is it? The places on Earth where most of the earthquakes originated or some mountains and volcanoes were formed marked the boundaries of each lithospheric plate. Each plate is slowly moving relative to each other, causing geologic events to happen along their boundaries. A mountain range, that is, a mountain or mountain belt, is a geographic area with many mountains. Mountain ranges are long chains or mountains which are usually 1,000 or more miles long. Mountain chains are typically formed by the process known as plate tectonics. These tectonic plates move and interact with each other, causing the formation of geologic features like volcanoes and mountain ranges. 
and the occurrence of geologic events like earthquakes. While there are five known major mountain belts in the world, namely the Himalayan mountain range, the Andes, Alps, Rocky Mountains or known as the Rockies, and the Ural Mountains, there are other smaller mountain ranges in the world including the North American Cordillera, the Appalachians, Tasman Belt, Caledonian Belt, and the Inuvision Belt. The Himalayan mountain range, or known as the Great Himalayas, is a home to the planet's highest peaks, the Mount Everest, which is 8,848 meters or 29,029 feet above sea level. This is situated in Asia and is located at the border between China and Nepal. The world's longest above-water mountain range or the longest continental mountain range in the world is the Andes, which is about 7,000 kilometers long or 4,300 miles long, while the Mid-Ocean Ridge, which is 40,389 miles long, is considered as the longest mountain range on Earth under the ocean. The distribution of major mountain belts, earthquake epicenters, and active volcanoes are distributed in close proximity of the borders of the tectonic plates. Most of the active volcanoes are found in the so-called Ring of Fire, which is at the border of the Pacific tectonic plate or the tectonic plate boundaries. Evaluation Number 1. What do you think is the basis of the scientists in dividing lithosphere into several plates? Again, what do you think is the basis of the scientists in dividing lithosphere into several plates? Number 2. Compare and contrast volcanoes, mountain ranges, and earthquake epicenters using the Venn diagram. Again, compare and contrast volcanoes, mountain ranges, and earthquake epicenters using the Venn diagram. What can I do? Since the Philippines is in the Pacific Ring of Fire, we should always be ready and alert for we do not know when or where the disasters may occur. Your task is to plan a precautionary measure when volcanic eruption or earthquake occurs. Write in a sheet of paper and discuss it with your family so that everybody in the family will know it. Again, since the Philippines is in the Pacific Ring of Fire, we should always be ready and alert, for we do not know when or where the disasters may occur. Your task is plan a precautionary measure when volcanic eruption or earthquake occurs. Write in a sheet of paper and discuss it with your family so everybody in the family will know it. So this ends our lesson for week number three. So that's it. I hope you did enjoy our activities and learned something today. Once again, this is Teacher May and see you around. God bless us all. Bye!